So, as you expand your knowledge about Turing, you learn new things, you get better at doing the same things you've already done, you get smarter, and thus, you start making bigger programs. Now, this leads to some problems with organizing. Because sometimes, you might have several procedures and functions all doing different things, all scattered everywhere. It's a nightmare. So you just wish that you could organize it better, like have a folder or something that could contain all those procedures. Well, there are three ways of organizing your code and organizing your, your procedures, your functions, everything. There are modules, units, which means like separate files, and there are classes. Today, I'm going to go through modules. What is a module? Well, it's basically just a container for procedures and functions and variables. You can call it a folder or whatever you want. So, how do you start a module? Well, you start it by typing module, and then the name of your module, say fun, and then to end it, end fun. Like procedures and functions, you end it by saying n and then the name of your function procedure for module so now in the module we can start making our procedures and stuff so let's say i want to make a function let's say i'll call it double also a note for procedures you can shorten it by just typing proc So now you have your module. This is a very basic module, just with one simple procedure and one simple function. But I'm not done. I can't use this yet. Why? Because I didn't export them. Now exporting, that just tells the computer which functions or procedures or whatever in the module it's allowed to use outside of the module. To do that, at the very beginning, you have to make an export statement. So export double and printing. It doesn't matter what order, you can have printing first and double last. So now outside, I can call my module and use procedures and functions that are in the module. How do I do that? Well, type the name of the module and then dot, and then uh, let's say printing. There you go. So module name dot procedure or function name. Then I have to have a parameter and I can make my parameter a function so I can go fun dot double and then five. So now it works. It prints 10. Five times two is 10 and it prints it, which is good. So that's how you use modules and that's how you make them. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Next video will be about units.